are you going with that? I'm taking it for a walk. Huh. I'm throwing it out, Hank. The, the knob's broken. Hey, if I fix it, can I have it? You can have it even if you don't fix it, although I don't know why you'd want it. Nobody chews gum from a machine anymore. It's all Arctic freeze or cinnamon swirly punch. Hey, you remember what chewing gum was like when we were kids? Good gumballs, eh, Lacey? Hmm. I didn't grow up here, Hank. Hmm. Huh. Who am I thinking of? Okay. What was that about? Terry wants my help digging a well. Well, I didn't know you could run an auger. I can't. Well, I, I know it sounds strange, but I can find water. That doesn't sound so strange. So can I. See? Water. No. You walk around with divining rods, and when they cross, that's where you dig. It's called water divination. Oh, yeah. I've heard of that. So you're some kind of water witch? I'm not a witch. It's a simple skill your grandfather taught me. I can't figure out how to do this. There, you try. She's a witch! My father got teased a lot. Well, people can be cruel. Hey, she's a witch. See? You know you live in a small town when people don't even write their phone numbers on the board. Well, you don't want to overwhelm the buyers with details. What's that house like, anyway? Oh, it's in a good neighborhood. Well, the only neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> Close to downtown. <laughs> Walking distance to bar and restaurant. <laughs> what, you have to be from here to make a small town joke? So it would seem. You know, I've always wanted to fix up a house and then sell it again, like on those flippy shows. Well, the fact that you call them flippy shows makes me think it's not a good idea. Lacey is a strong, determined woman. If she wanted to flip a house, she could flip a house. Thank you, Wanda. She's only saying that because she's selling Bernie's house for him. You're a real estate agent? Not as such, but Bernie trusts me. I've handled sales for him before. Who's selling toaster? That's Bernie's. He wants a buck for it. 75 cents? Where are we, Mexico? I said a buck. That's hardly the same as selling a house. A toaster's just a house for bread. Am I wrong? Yeah. What are you doing? Start my own business. Gumball business, probably. What well, makes you think you can make any money? Well, there's this old saying. You give a man a fish, and you feed him for a day. But teach a man to feed a fish, and round, round we go. You've never run a business in your life. Like you have. Yeah, it's called Corner Gas, number one gas station in town. Well, the uh, gumball business is very different. For example, instead of gas, it's gum. <laughs> Good luck, genius. <laughs> so, what's new? Nothing much. Oh, my mom's a witch. Oh, I know, the other day she just about bit my head off. No, I said witch. A water witch. She can find water using sticks. That's weird. What's weird? You're weird. You and your water devastation thing? She got teased as a kid. Oh, back then people could be insensitive. So I guess that makes you a son of a witch. People are more mature now. Can you give me a ride out to Terry's farm? Sure. What's the matter? Your broom in the shop? <laughs> <laughs> be sure to try my gum before you go. It's only a quarter. Fresh gum, tasty gummy gum. Gummy gum? Man, your business is gonna tank. Maybe you should be selling suckers. No, the sticks would get stuck in the dispenser. Oh, that was an insult. Fine, how would you do it? Start with a better name anyway. Corner gum? Yeah, but I spelt the word gum with gum. How did you make it stick? It's gum. Well, it's got potential. It's got tons of potential. It's dripping with huge gobs of potential. 
Ooh, nice. Forget the gob thing. It's a great house. But I should tell you, there's another offer on it. Now, personally, I would rather see you in it than them. You said the same thing to me 15 minutes ago. I told you to wait in the car. What are you doing? Hanging out at Corner Gum. We're not gonna make money standing around reading comics. Works for Brent. Hey, guys. What we need is a hook. Mm. Yeah. Or maybe a catchy jingle. You know, something like, uh, Hank and Oscar's Old Fashioned Gum. Have a chew and enjoy the... Rest of your day. Yep. A good hook is what we need. Hey, look at Karen. I saw the house first. Yeah? Like you can afford it. You got lots of money. Up your offer to prove her wrong. You don't even know how to flip a house. Show him you can by adding a thousand to your bid. It is a lot of money. Not that much. What if we went in on this together? Okay. I should point out that many business partnerships end in court. We wouldn't have to outbid each other. Some get violent. We could save thousands of dollars. Some end in murder. What the heck? Let's do it. I'm sorry. I can't let you do this in good conscience. Fine. We won't buy the house then. I think you are going to be very happy with your new house. How would you like to show the kids how to blow bubbles at Corner Gum? Yeah, but nothing fancy. Just a good old-fashioned bubble. Don't be making poodles or giraffes or anything. Look, I appreciate the offer, but I got more important things to do. Police work? Excuse me, officer. Can I get a picture of you with my kid? Sure, I'm not doing anything. But you have to buy a gumball first. Hey, yeah. Uh, hey, everybody. Buy a gumball and get a free picture with Officer Karen, the gum chewing cop. Do I get a cut? Shut up and blow. So, how does this work? Do you wiggle your nose or do you summon some spirits or? Wow, that is so cool that you can do that. Do you mind if my niece watches? No. Hear that? She thinks it's cool. Have you always been able to do this, um... Water deviation? Yeah, kind of runs in the family. Normally I would do this, but I like to give her some practice. You know, I'm not feeling it today. Why don't you give it a try, hotshot? Hey, I didn't hire an amateur. Hey, didn't you hear what you called me? Hotshot. That's my nickname down at the water finding shop. All right, I don't want to freak you non-water finders out, but what happens here is... These two thingies cross sometimes. Oh, give me those. Oh, wait. They just moved. They did? I mean, don't be frightened. That's what they do. Hey, I think you just found us some water. That's what I do. How about you, miss? Do you need any water found today? Oh, no thanks. That's you on the make. No wonder I have no grandchildren. I'm thinking of getting my own set of rods. You know, not that I really need them, but the family rods are a little old, kind of used. It's pretty cool. I think it's kind of spooky, isn't it? He's like a man witch. Is that like a sloppy Joe? Ooh, I could go for one of those. Maybe not a man witch, more like a warlock. Warlock? You mean like Harry Potter? It's awesome. Prince, the son of a witch. That means you're a witch. She's a witch. Congratulations, you two. Here are the keys to your new house. Oh, and here's my card. I hope you'll consider me when you resell it. This is a reminder for a dental appointment. Well, it's got my number on it. This is going to be great. I'm so excited. What have I done buying a house to flip? What was I thinking? Oh, come on. You've just got the post-purchase jitters. Yeah, I guess all couples go through this. We're not a couple. <laughs> But yes, and this house is great. Good roof, new plumbing, great kitchen. Okay? Yeah, you're right. This is kind of a charming little place. Oh yeah, we're gonna flip this piece of crap so fast.
and stay in school. How'd I do? Okay, um, what was with the hand flourish? I just thought I'd jazz it up a little. Yeah, well, you're drawing attention away from the gum. I mean, we're not selling mittens. That's right. It's about the gum. I thought next time I'd do more positive messages, you know? Inspire the young people. Diva. Look, just stick with the program. Yeah, blow bubbles and look good. So that's all I am. Pretty face? No. You're a pretty face behind the big bubble. You were right. Painting calmed me right down. <laughs> and the color you picked for the bedroom. Perfect. Oh, well, it was easy. I just studied a dozen swatches, painted sample boards of three shades, and then placed them in the room at different times a day to see the way the light danced across them. No biggie. <laughs> Beautiful. It's going to be great to wake up to. You mean someone else waking up to it? Oh, yeah. Of course. Oh, man. We're making a killing. At this rate, you can retire tomorrow. I am retired, you idiot. Yeah, well, how would you like to retire again? And how would you like to turn your profits into a lucrative real estate investment? Real estate's too slow. Yeah, gum's the new gold. <laughs> well, if you change your mind, I'll be right here in my office. Holy hell! Whoa. 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 I decided it was time to get my pretty face out from behind the bubble. You guys don't mind a little competition, do you? Different colored gum, shoots and spirals. It's a circus. It doesn't know what it wants to be. Dinner and a show. And then this chill, no, it was more like a jolt. This chilly jolt ran up my spine, and then the rods crossed. Interesting. You know, if you made enough money doing this water thing, you might be able to upgrade to a slightly bigger home. You haven't found water till they actually dig the hole, Mr. Chili Jolt. Well, I still prefer hot shot. But if you need proof, you know, I guess we could go out there and check on how the digging's going. You just want to see Jennifer. Ooh. Jennifer. Brent is a Christian Jennifer. <laughs> she in the market for a new house? Jeez, you gotta let that go. You're not even a real estate agent. Not a real real estate agent. You're like a fake estate agent. Yeah, well, it's better than being a fake man, which... Come on, hotshot. Let's go check for some water. Sounds good. Let me just uh, grab a quick shower and shave first. You know, for the drive. Wow, that is something. Oh, I know. It's misty gray for the window trim. Actually, I was looking at the view. Well, it's misty gray, in case you're wondering. Imagining our kids playing in the yard. <laughs> our kids? Oh, I'm not saying our kids. I'm saying the kids that you're going to have and the kids that I'm going to have, separately. Okay. <laughs> Davis, we need to talk. Oh, don't tell me you're not having kids. Who are my kids going to play with? We are not having kids, okay? Well, I mean, maybe someday I might if I meet Mr. Wright. Or even just a nice, stable guy. <laughs> My point is, we are not doing anything in this house. We are flipping this house. Do you got it? Well, I'm not saying right away. Hey, it's the gum lady. Hey, you crazy little gum chewers. You staying out of trouble? Doing your homework? What? Never mind. What do you say we go get us some gum over at the Chuby? It's what I call my machine. It's like the Ruby, but it's a gum machine, so it Let's just go get some gum. No offense, but we don't believe in chewing gum that's been tested on animals. Tested on animals? Cruelty-free gum? You should be ashamed of your gum. But my gum is fine. Yeah, sure. If you like hurting puppies. That's not true. I like puppies. You hear that? She likes eating puppies. <gasps> this is slander. Whatever, bunny kicker. Is everyone here? I just want to make sure we're not missing somebody who should be here to witness this. He means Jennifer. Oh, she's around here somewhere. Should we wait, do you think, or...? I think we hit something. Oh, you hear that, Mom? We hit something. I wonder if I should have the first drink. What's that smell? It's called Axe. I think we hit an old septic tank. Oh, congratulations, you found sewage. You still want the first drink? Oh, that's the worst thing I've ever smelled. Now she shows up.
Well, the good news is they won't be calling you Warlock anymore. They'll be calling you a crap finder. You're not going to tell anybody about this, are you? No, of course not. Well, maybe I made one call. And this is the living room. These are our sellers. They love this house. Yeah, we hate to give it up. Did you check out the bedrooms? One of them would make a great nursery. Yeah, we're going to turn it into a home office if we buy. So you're not having children? No. <laughs> is the uh, basement finished? <sighs> With a little work, make a great rec room. Yeah. You could barely tell that anything horrific happened down there. <laughs> oh, don't worry, it was a long time ago. And as far as violent crimes go, you can hardly see the stains. <laughs> <laughs> he is a real kidder and a pathological liar. Anyways, you know what is a crime? The size of the bedroom closets. Scoot! <laughs> ah. What is with her? Ow! What are you doing? They're not right for the house. They're just heartless profiteers who want to buy it and flip it. That's what we're trying to do. Hey there, youngsters. More quality old-fashioned gumballs coming your way. And remember, the more you chew, the less you talk. No thanks. Your gum exploits children. Fair trade gum. My gum's sweatshop free. It's made for kids, not by kids. You can't prove that, can't you? Kids made our gum? Can I bring them through or is Stephen King gonna tell more bedtime stories? We've talked, everything's fine. And this is our very spacious living room. Where nothing strange has ever happened. This place is perfect for kids. My thoughts exactly. We'd have to repaint it. This yellow is an odd choice. I know. Some people's taste. Yeah. Anyways, that can be changed. No, it can't. Sure it can. You just paint over it. First of all, it's not yellow. It's Spanish gold. And second of all, we're not selling you this house. Off you go. What are you doing? I'm not selling to those people. Look, at she wouldn't know Spanish gold if a, if a Spaniard walked up to her, handed her something, saying, here, have some gold. All right, listen up, you psychos. Get it together, or get yourself another real estate agent. You mean a real real estate agent? Hey, I'm as real as it gets without actually having any credentials. Hey, I need to use your bathroom. You think maybe you could use your fancy rods to help me find it? Wait, I'm sensing some crap right now. It's coming from your mouth. Okay, what'd you tell my customers this time? Hmm? Food poisoning? Carpal tunnel jaw? No. Those are both excellent ideas. My gumballs aren't selling. Well, don't look at me. Nobody's buying my gum either. I wonder what's going on. Well, the best way to solve any mystery is to stand around here doing nothing. Welcome to Gumball World. Who are you, the greeter? No, I got a deal going with the Food Mart. It's not just gum anymore. We got toys and stickers and gum. I thought we had something good at Corner Gum. Stop living in the past. I'm thinking of adding wiper fluid and a ding-ding hose. <laughs> That's right. I'm back. Well, you can't beat the prices. Some of this stuff's only 10 cents. A little bit of gum tastes lousy. That was a rubber ball, jackass. Score. There's also a beautiful view from the kitchen. Come on, honey. This is a little out of our price range. Though I do love the color in here. Is that Spanish gold? Yes. <laughs> and there's seafoam green in the bedroom. As you can see, backyard has plenty of room for your future little rug rat. The house is perfect. I'm just not sure that we can afford it. Oh, what the heck. Let's do it. What smells like sewage? <laughs> it's just sewage. Harmless sewage. It's a good thing. It keeps the raccoons away. You have raccoons? No, the sewage keeps them away. Where's that coming from? Well, I'm not really an expert. You know, my mom is the real talent. Well, keep on looking, crap man. You know, your real estate agent should have recommended a home inspection. Hey, don't look at me. I don't have any credentials. Hello. 
Can I help you? Uh, we have a housewarming gift for the new owners. We are the new owners. No, no, a, a different couple bought the house. She was pregnant, had a flair for color. Oh no, we bought this house from them. You did? Well, yeah. We paid a little more than we wanted, but it was worth it. All we had to do was repaint a few walls. Oh, hey. I didn't expect to run into you again out here on your farm. Anyway, uh, I was just in the neighborhood and I wanted to, you know, apologize for finding sewage. No, I'm sure it happens to everyone. I thought you were kind of cute about it. Really? Oh, but my boyfriend laughed his ass off. Yeah, well, funny stuff. Boyfriend. Hey, Jen, is that the crap man? <laughs> Hold on, let me get my camera. I so gotta get a picture with the crap man. So, you thought I was cute, huh? So cute. You reminded me of my aunt. She fixed toilets. Well, I'm glad I made the trip out. <laughs>